गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू डू इमेज रिकॉग्निशन यूजिंग एल एस टी एम द होल आइडिया लाइज इन दैट हाउ अ कन्वोल्यूशन न्यूरल नेटवर्क परसीव द डेटा जस्ट लेट सी दैट हाउ कन्वोल्यूशन न्यूरल नेटवर्क परसीव द डेटा जस्ट सी इट हैज फोर डायमेंशनल डेटा इन द फॉर्म सो वॉट वी डू वी कन्वर्ट अवर डेटा सेट अकॉर्डिंगली सी Suppose our image it is twenty eight by twenty eight pixel, right? Twenty eight by twenty eight pixel, and if it is black and white, so there is one channel. So how we will put our data in CNN? It is like number of samples, then number of rows of the data, then number of columns, then channels. This is the four value values we have to provide in the input layer at the very beginning in the sequential after the sequential class in the first layer. Now what we have to do? We have to convert this according to the LSTM. And what LSTM want? It want STF like number of samples again and time steps. How many time steps back you want to go? to make further prediction because you see lstm is a sequence generator and that is the number of features so actually we have to convert this image that is the number of sample 28 by 28 one pixel into one sample of 28 by 28 that's all we have to do and once you do that you really don't need to do anything else and our problem is solved so all we need is to prepare our data accordingly this is the key i and i just tell it in the beginning that there is no more mysteries and rest what we are going to do is the normal uh, neural network lstm that as anybody can run in in a most simple form and we too are going to run it in the most simple form not much a uh, more complex neural network or anything else and running it only few uh, epochs so uh, i just show you the how in a brief that how we are uh, writing it here see from numpy import mean we are at the some libraries and i put like a keras dot data sets import fashion mnist that is the inbuilt data set in the keras it is a fashion data created by mnist it has target variable which contains 10 categories and the clocks as as the name it shows it has the clocks like shirt pant tops and you have to recognize the images of these particular clocks are given i'm not going uh, much detail and showing the images just see how i converted the code uh i also imported one more function to underscore categorical so that i convert my target variable into dummy variables of 10 categories for each result so that for for that i am going to put 10 nodes in the final layer of tens rest you see keras dot layers import lstm max pooling 2d dense flatten and i am here going to use optimizer stochastic gradient descent see i created a function uh, this function and i created this function uh, def load underscore data set so i writing everything in a proper manner I use function fashion underscore mnist dot load underscore data. It will load your data in four parts like train x, train y, test x, test y. Resave data should have a single channel. So what I'm doing here, I'm resave resaving the given images to have a single channel. Simply using reshape function train x dot save at the index zero. That means the number of rows save gives number of rows and number of columns. So in train x dot shape I gave all the rows that is the number of samples twenty eight by twenty eight and one that is twenty eight row twenty eight column and one channel. If we see in a most simple form, what reshape do? So I give it name train x and similarly I again did it for test x and save it as test x. Now I converted train y into dummy variable. So I put it underscore. Two underscore categorical function and save it at train y and text y. Return a re, this function return train x train y test text test y. So I just call the function. Now 
what I am going to do, I am going to prepare my CNN type data that is four dimensional into LSTM die data that is number of samples, time steps and number of features. So train x dot reshape the values that I am getting from here after calling the function load underscore data set. Train x dot shape this is the number zero that is the number of samples number of rows and 28 by 28 pixels. I converted it deliberately into single channel so I really don't have to worry about it. It is one matrix and that many samples. Same is for test x. Now I am doing a little preparation on my uh, images data by normalizing means rescaling it so I divided it by 255 to 55. For that I make a proper function and I put train x and text y. Now I get data train x and text y that is my complete prepared data. Now I run my neural network I call the function sequential and name it model. And here I add one layer of LSTM with 30 cells. Activation is ReLU, kernel initializer, this HNA form, input shape. Here you have to provide number of sample, number of time step and number of features. So when you are providing at the very beginning, first layer, the input shape, you really don't have to tell the number of samples. The work is done, you give number of time steps and number of feature because number of samples you can designate later at the batch size in the model.compile see making it simple I did not add uh, any more uh, layers hidden layers I added just I go directly to the MLP model.addense and put 100 nodes and again model.addense with 10 nodes that is the final 10 outputs, 10 nodes and stochastic gradient descent will learn in rate 0 0.01, momentum 0 0.9 and model.compile optimizer, loss, categorical cross entropy as it is a multi-class classification, matrix. Now I make two blank lists to save the scores. See, model.fit, train x, train y, I run it for 10 epochs only. Here I provide batch size 32, that means 32 samples will be passed at a time and validation underscore data that is test x and test y. See, I save it in history. I again run model.evaluate for test x, test y separately. I save the accuracy. Now model.fit, when I save it history, the history saves four values that is accuracy, loss of the train data and validation accuracy and validation loss for test data for each epoch. So if we plot it, epoch wise the test accuracy and validation accuracy in one plot and similarly validation uh, test validation and train validation uh, sorry train loss and uh, test loss in one plot so that we can compare if there is some overfitting or not see I run it it takes around 15-20 uh, minutes and it I got the result like 86% accuracy now see I plotted it separately and then get cross entropy loss for train and test and classification accuracy for train and test you see in about uh, 3 to 4 epochs or uh, you can say about 7, 6, 6 to 7 or 8, 8 is fine in 8 epoch I run it for 10 epochs so like, right it is in 8 epoch you got a good result and that much is inevitable or you can say okay it is fine we can go ahead with that. So main idea was to learn that how you can use LSTM for image recognition. So it was a single example, you can replicate it anywhere at very um, larger, big, bigger example or bigger case studies. So thank you dear friend, that's all for today. Thank you very much.